नमस्कार आचार्य प्रशांत जी नमस्कार नमस्कार आचार्य जी इट गिव्स मी इमेंस प्लेजर टू इंट्रोड्यूस आचार्य प्रशांत आचार्य प्रशांत इज अ पावरफुल वॉइस ऑफ सोशियो स्पिरिचुअल अवेकनिंग इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड He is an acclaimed Vedanta exeget and author of over seventy books, including the national bestseller Karma. An alumnus of IIT Delhi, I am Ahmedabad, and a former civil services officer. He is an exponent of pure Vedantic wisdom, a vocal warrior against superstition and inner weaknesses. a promulgator of pure spiritual veganism and an expounder of essential human freedom so we are very fortunate to have uh, arranged this session of acharya prashant over to you swati thank you everyone thank you so much sir we warmly welcome you acharya prashant ji to our family thank you so i request ms rupali mishra from vadodara to ask her question very good evening prashant ji namaste so my question is that uh, i feel that i'm very emotional so why i let my emotions puppeteer me when i know that i should act more logically in most of the situation no <clears throat> see we all are uh, deeply conditioned beings your situation is the situation of uh, entire mankind hmm? you might say you are uh, emotional and you see the solution as turning more logical equally there might be a fellow who might be seeing a problem in being too logical and uh, rather seeks to activate his uh, emotional side irrespective of whether you are logical or emotional you are acting as per the constitution of your body and to some extent the training and education imparted to you by the society family and all those things so it's not about being emotional versus being logical being more logical might help you to an extent but it is not really the solution to being identified with one's emotions hmm? additionally if you are someone who has let's say a biological tendency towards emotions you might find it uh, difficult to simply junk your emotions discard them you might just end up fighting with them and suppressing them which may uh, which may give you the delusion of victory over emotions but actually does not amount to much so what do we do we offer whatever we have to the right cause in life hmm? you have emotions and that implies let's say attachment hmm? uh, a tendency to care or probably um, volatility and anger hmm? 
all these things that's what you uh, usually mean by emotionality dedicate all these things to something high important powerful worthy what that thing is is determined by your own station in your life right there is nobody who does not know of anything that's important and deserves to be taken up you too would be in knowledge of uh, many such causes hmm? dedicate your emotions your resources your energy your laughter your tear your jealousy your possessiveness whatever you call as emotionality to something beyond yourself hmm? i hope i'm being at least a little lucid here see we cannot just get rid of our bodily constitution right men have one particular bodily scheme women have another somebody is just too hard hearted somebody just keeps thinking somebody just keeps emoting somebody has a tendency to think over things somebody is instinctive impulsive and these differences are found even in little kids the kid might be just uh, two weeks or two months old but you observe her and you would find uh, certain important characteristics already present so they are there they are there because uh, there is the body and the body is carrying them and since the body is carrying them we said we cannot just junk them right so we dedicate them we offer them mm-hmm. like one offers sacrifice in a pure religious ceremony mm-hmm. i am giving dedicating marshaling whatever i have to something that deserves the sacrifice right so think of uh, think of something important hmm? think of a cause not so much a person hmm? think of something worth living for think of something that you would uh, respect in another person think of something that would make you respect another person had he or she dedicated himself or herself to it no i respect abc because he lived in this particular way i respect xyz because she dedicated herself to this particular cause you know something of that nature hmm? nature that liberates nature that sublimates think of something and plunge yourself wholeheartedly into that there is no other way hmm? unless your entire constitution your the sum total of all your resources is dedicated to something beyond yourself something beyond your little self interest something beyond your little personal world your likes and dislikes your pleasures your hurts uh, life will remain a series of petty occurrences and uh, there is no fun in that let alone joy <clears throat> so please do not take emotions uh, as a liability they are not right whatever they are they they are something you are saddled with alternately you could say they are something you are gifted with hmm? so you have them when you have something you you better not curse it or look down upon it you have to learn to live with it 
better still you have to learn to excel with it you have to excel with your emotions it says that you don't need to allow your emotions to run berserk and that happens when emotions do not have any worthy subject to attach themselves to getting so look for a worthy subject a worthy cause look for something that can consume you fully right and then give yourself to it your own way the truth is one but we all must travel towards it using our own territories our own paths charts contours and those paths are determined by the point we are already standing at if you are standing at the point of emotionality then that's where you travel to your liberation from one cannot be dismissive of or contemptuous of or apologetic of her current locus wherever i stand that's the place i have to start from no point feeling bad about my current station it is a fact one cannot fight with facts one can just put facts to the best use possible all right so do not allow um, the voices that tell you that emotions are a problem etc uh, to mean too much to you Mm-hmm. all that you will get by mm, looking down on your emotions is a a suppressed kind of state uh, amounting to nothing suppression is good only if it is leading to a great channelization towards a higher thing right you suppress something small because you want to send it to something larger if you cannot uh, send it towards something larger and you just keep suppressing it then what comes out of it nothing you know it's like this water is is trying to flow in 40 different directions right and there is a lot of water you want to send the water to a place where it would amount to to growth and and greenery and uh, output so there needs to be a channelization now instead of channelization if you just keep blocking the water from all sides then all that you will get is a deluge at some point because the water will keep accumulating and then at some point it will break all the walls the barriers and flow away in random directions that kind of explosive state is uh, no good so even if you have to block the flow of your emotions you must know where to channelize it that channelization is extremely important you don't want for example to be attached to one thing fine you don't want to be attached to one thing so you you put that one thing aside because uh, that one thing is not good for you but equally you must remember that the tendency to be attached will exist for a very very long time so no point being sorry for yourself better still divert your attachment towards something higher and if if that something that that object of attachment is indeed higher then it would uh, weaken your tendency to be attached that's the way to gain freedom from emotions 
attachment possessiveness uh, vulnerability and, and all the things that we uh, label under the umbrella of uh, emotionality hmm? one gets teary eyed very quickly one gets hurt very quickly right it's all right you cannot say i'll not be hurt at anything just say now there is something extremely important in my consideration in my lap it has to be protected so if i'll be hurt i'll be hurt at this one thing if i'll be protected i'll be protective about this one thing i'll be so concerned about this one thing that there will be no space to be concerned about other things to be vulnerable about other things that protects you from needless vulnerability vulnerability will still remain but in a channelized way right so that's my little advice thank you so much